Hello, Internet fans. We are now on our last lesson of Chapter 11, which is all about circles. And today we're going to be talking about circles in the coordinate plane. Remember, the coordinate plane refers to coordinates, graphs, x, y, axes, that kind of thing. So let's see how circles have to do with this. Um, the, we start with this picture right here. And the equation of a circle, which we're going to come up with in a few seconds, is actually based on the distance formula and the fact that all points on the circle are equidistant from the center of the circle. And we know that because they're all, they all have this distance, which is the radius. All these radii are congruent. Okay? So we can start out here, and we can start with the distance formula. And with the distance formula, then, we can plug in some points. We're going to be doing the distance from here to here. So we can plug in x for the second point and h and k for the first point. So we're substituting in the, the given values. I have a little dot there, I don't know why. All right, next, um, we square both sides, and that's what we get. So we get that the and you can notice here that they've taken the distance is actually the same thing as the radius. That's what we're solving for here. So we substituted that value in too. So we squared both sides. And now, um, finally, we end up with the, the formula for a circle, which tells us that the radius squared is equal to the square of the distance from the x values and the difference, I mean, the square of the difference of the x values plus the square of the difference of the y values, OK? So these are going to be letters that you should memorize. H, K. H is the x, the x coordinate of the center of the circle. And K is the y coordinate of the center of the circle. And the radius is R. So here's this formula. Go ahead and memorize it. You will need to know this for quizzes and tests. All right, so write the equation of each circle. So we want a circle J with center J to 2 and the radius of 4. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a little sketch here. OK, so first thing we do is we plot the, the center of the circle at 2, 2 which is here, and we're going to call that j. And then if it has a radius of 4, we're going to go 4 here, this direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, put a dot. Go up here, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, put a dot. We're going to go 4 in every direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, put a dot. And we're going to go 4 this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a dot. And now we're going to go ahead and draw a circle that passes through all four of those points. And as you remember now, this radius here is 4. And the center of the circle is 2.2. So the equation will then be um, the radius squared. Uh, let me actually write the formula for you here. So it's r squared equals x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. So let's substitute in. Our radius here is 4. So we square that. Our x value of the center is 2. Square that. And the x value, of, uh, the y value of the center is 2. So there's the equation. The only other thing I'd ask you to do is to square this one to get this. And that would be the equation of that circle. Um, yeah, so that's the equation of the circle. Next, write the equation of each circle. So once again, it's circle K that passes through this point and has a center of that. So they give us the center, and they give us the, the point that it passes through. So we're going to have to use the distance formula to measure the distance from the center over to J. Let's go ahead and draw this. And 
Oops, let me try that again. Put it about here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Ten, one, two. All right, so the center of the circle is, and it says it has a center at right there. So one comma negative eight. So right here, here's one, negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here it is, that's K, which is one comma negative eight. And then it tells us that it passes through J at six comma four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we go up four. And that's J. All right, and the circle then is going to look something like this. That's the, that's the center here at K, and that's a radius. So we're going to draw that radius in. And then, indeed, I'm going to draw the circle in green. So the circle is going to look something like that. Okay. So we want to know the equation for that. But we first need to go calculate this distance here using that distance formula. Okay? So um, we know the distance. And let's do this in red. It'll make more sense. Oh, sorry. Distance is equal to the square of how far it is from 1 to 6 which is 5, and then the square of how far it is from negative 8 to 4, which is 12. So that distance is square root of 169. Therefore, that distance is 13, and the radius then is 13. So this is 13 right there. So we're getting very close now to writing the equation. So I'm going to go ahead and write the equation that we're going to be using. x minus h squared plus y minus k. I always like writing formulas down before I use them. That way I make sure I've plugged in correctly. My radius this time is 13. Um, and my x value over here is 1. And my y value is negative 8. y minus a negative 8 is y plus 8. And I've got to put a squared term on it like that. And I've got to put a squared one there. And I think had I not written the formula, I probably would have forgotten those squares. So well, we'll multiply that back out. And this is our final answer. This is the equation for that green circle all over there. Up next. If you're given an equation of a circle, you can graph the circle by making a table, like using something like this, or by identifying its center and circle. And of course, you've known this for a while. So let's go ahead here and um, call this x and y. And let's plug in x is equal to 0. And then y looks like it's equal to plus or minus 4. OK, so when x is equal to 0, okay, y is equal to plus 4 and minus 4, because both minus 4 squared and positive 4 squared are both 16. All right, let's go plug in a 1 for x. So that's going to be, this will turn into 1, subtract 1 from both sides, and it looks like the square root of 15 is what we're talking about here. So we're talking about plus or minus. 3.87, so that's here, uh, x is equal to 1, 3.87 is probably about there, and negative, about like that, and let's plug in 2, so you plug in 2 there, it turns into 4, subtract 4 from both sides, and it's going to be square root of 12, oops, did I do that wrong? Oh, there it is, 3.46. So here, 3.4. There's 3. Yeah, it's somewhere here and here. And 
3.46. And now let's plug in 3. 3 squared here is a 9. Subtract 9 from both sides. And you get 7. So we do the square root of 7. Oops. Let's go back one. Something went wrong here. I'm going to clear that and try again. My calculator is a little slow. All right, square root of 7 is 2.46. And that's, once again, going to be plus or minus. So here we go, uh, 3, 2.46. there and right about there. And finally, let's plug in 4. 4 squared is 16. Subtract 16 from both sides. Y squared is equal to 0. And therefore, we get 0. And you can see, if we plug in the negative values, we're going to get the same thing. If we plug in negative 4, we also get 0. And indeed, you're going to get something that looks like this. And that's how you would use a table by making a table to solve this problem. Um, we can also use what we know. And that's the formula here, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals radius squared. So let's go identify here. First off, the radius squared. What number squared give us 9? Well, in fact, that radius is going to be 3. And then we read out h is. h is 3, and because that's plus, our k is negative 4. So in order to graph this using that formula, we're going to go over here and plot the, the center of the circle first, which is 3, negative 4, right there. And then we're going to go do a radius of 3 in all four directions. So from here, we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. From the center of the circle, again, we're going to go to the right. 1, 2, 3. Center of the circle, you're going to go down 3. And from the center of the circle, we're going to go there. And indeed, we can draw in the circle now to the best of our abilities. Try not to have any points on your circle, because circles don't have any points on them. But this is how we would graph using the um, formula for a circle. So finally, this is our last slide, and this is where I'm going to ask you to please tell me what's the radius? How long is the radius? So I need you to go find that radius right there. And I think your hint is go use the distance formula. Hint. Anyway, thanks so much. We'll see you again soon.